Hello everyone, this is the first live development session of Robo Showdown. Uh, obviously the code and the graphics for the game are almost finished, but uh, the main mechanic and plotline are already done. In this game, the world is inspired by Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Everyone is a duelist, but instead of dueling with cars and holographic monsters, you duel with holographic robots. The main character enters a tournament where he has to be the number one on the ranking to win the game. Every enemy is created, proceed, is created stronger than the last one. You gain credits by dueling and a lot for winning and just a little for participating. Also, you can bet in duels as an spectator of AI versus AI to gain extra credits or lose it. In this session, we will be making a trainer NPC where you can easily duel and test your robot. Uh, in this game, you, your robot is modular so you can mix and match parts to better suit your playstyle. We will enter the the game. Uh, this is the Eclipse. I'm developing developing the game with libgdx, and the code is all in Java. And this is the main menu. We put start game. Okay. Okay, character. Male, female, hair color, skin tone, cloth color. Uh, let's put a name. Let's type a name. Uh, job. Great. moment uh, you can move with AWSD and point with the mouse Hi. You can talk with the NPCs. So you normally go to this NPC to, to get ready for a duel. Then this number is the ranking of the opponent. The lower the ranking, the, the stronger the opponent. You know, let's choose number 97 Julius Okay We go to the arena And we take our place In this path And we start a door. This is the basic robot. It has the chases. And 
legs. Uh, to uh, equipment. You can zoom in and out. This is the main mechanic of the game, but uh, this is the robot. You can mix parts like this and eagle chases, uh, bipedal model. Okay, now yes. I already have created a, a gym like this. So the idea here is that there will be a trainer, a robot trainer, when where you can este, duel with him to test your robot. Now I will just open the, the map and place an NPC right here. <clears throat> for the for the map I use as the toilet. It works great with libgdx. This is the map files. This is the map. I can place the NPC directly, but I can yes.
but um, I can see, I can este check the coordinates. So this is seventy-eight and one hundred sixty. I will take note. And we go back to left the game and we go back to the code uh, the game is the the game code use the entity the entity system approach in this the code is divided in three sections the components the entity and the system. The systems are what are the dynamic part. For example, the dialogues, the physics, movement, triggers. The components are just data, like the friction of a robot, stats, timers, and so on. Then. There is the entity, which there is only one class that works for the for the player, for the player, the bullets, the robots, and all you can see in the game except the map, the terrain. So we go to data. Data areas and the area zero uh, here we can here we use the builder pattern in this we we save all the data of the NPC in the NPC builder object then we pass this object to a factory using the factory pattern and this factory will create instantiate the the NPC in the game when we run the game. So I'm going to duplicate this. This is a vendor but now it will be a trainer. And uh, this game data dot NPC trainer is a Enum Ah oh, no, it's a constant NPC trainer We change the name. And this, okay. So X, Y is the position. X, 78. And Y, Instead of typing the Y directly, I use este one thousand one hundred ninety nine minus the Y because the Y axis is inverted. The the ID NPC trainer. This is no longer used, but it's here. Uh, I created a, a string. A pool of names, so we choose one random, one last name of random, the age, there is adult and teen, male, mm. the tint is the skin color, click indicates if the player can interact with it, vendor if it sells objects and false, in transit, 
uh, this variable este, this is a flag so if this is true the npc will roam around the the area hood well uh, in this is the this is so the npc have a hood over the head Profis profession this is market let's change to Duelist and a score indicates the strength of the of its robot or the difficulty level. Let's put uh, three hundred. Now we have the the NPC build trainer and we go here. This is another este, builder object. In this case, city builder. This is for the for the map. So we add the NPC builder to the pool of NPCs. And we add here. Now we can go, we can play the game again and see the NPC. <clears throat> now we can go start game, create character, create. We wait a moment. <clears throat> and we go to the to the NPC. Let's see. Oh, nothing. The NPC is not here. Okay. This is the number of NPCs 100 for the, the 100 duelist and 8 for the NPCs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Ok, 10 And for the name we are going to use Trainer. Uh, let's check the grandma. Okay, one N. And we start again. Start game.
-hmm. We go to the trainer. Um, yeah, he's here or not? No, he does not appear. What could it be? We try again. Maybe <clears throat> there is a problem with with the coordinates. Start a game, create a new character. And uh, let's see. Here it is. Right? Yeah, I know what's happening. The, each time <coughs> the player enter the main area, the common area, all the non the NPCs that are not vendors este, are randomly selected to go to the to the stadium. So what happening is that the NPC is being selected to go to the to the arena as an spectator. So. I have to add him to the list of NPCs that 
stays in place. And this is here. Shuffle Duelist, Duelist. No. Here it is. We are going to add the trainer to this list. NPC Trainer. Okay. We are going to run the game again. NPC start game create new character create The trainer is here. Trainer Jonathan. Huh. How are you? Fine. Okay, the NPC is here. The color and the skin tone of the NPC is, is, the, is random. Mm, there is something weird with the eyes. Okay. Now, este, I'm going to, to change the dialogue. So he gives us the option to, to do it. Uh, we will talk to him, he will walk to this platform and we will wait for the player to walk to this one. Then este, the robots will be projected here and we will fight in this little arena. Ok, so first I'm going to create the dialogue. He will say something like, um, are you ready to train? Uh, we will have the option to say yes or no. Okay. The um, dialogue here in res dialogues. This is a Java file. Okay. So each dialogue have a unique ID, and I have them like as constants. Okay. So, it's dialogue, trainer, dialogue, trainer. Okay, so this is a switch. Okay. This is the uh, the get dialog method. So in the case we are going to duplicate this, and the case is dialog trainer. He will say, "Oh, there is in two language, English and Spanish." So uh, you ready? Okay. Listo para entrenar. Ok, so, yes. Sí. And the other option, no. Okay, but button no interactive means that the dialogue is over. Um,
button interactive on the other hand Copy this. button and set response script uh, this script will este, will trigger the, the action no? will make the player the trainer walk to the platform and wait for the player to walk to other platform to start the training duel okay we have the script and we will use a, a script like this so by new by id script arena battle arena area battle arena is the the current map so this script only works in this area and the script data okay i'm going to create another script and we are going to call it Start training rule. Let's check the orthography. Okay, English is not my first language. Okay, one and And we go. Okay, the the scripts are as the are stored commands that I will they, they will be passed to the to an engine I create a script engine that parse the script and make effects in the game in a sequential manner. And I can link scripts one to another so. One script make the NPC walk. When that script is finished, that uh, carries another script that make him talk and so on. So I'm going to duplicate one of these scripts. One like this. Case start training dual, and we have. A script order. Okay. Well, first, we once you talk to the NPC, we are going to set his dialogue so you cannot talk to him again. So you that way, if you click the trainer again after you accept the training tool, uh, he no longer you can no longer talk to him. So. We are going to give him a null dialog. The, the first uh, parameter is the is uh, the minus sin. The second is the dialog, in this case null, and mm. 
This. this is the ID of the area, the dialog null, and the, the ID of the NPC, this NPC thread. Okay. And after the NPC trainer is given a null dialog, we are going to add with add next script a, another script. So first, the trainer can no longer talk, then we are going to move the the, uh, the NPC and make him walk to the to the area. Okay, move like this. We have to select the ID of the NPC, the X and Y axis so x Okay, the NPC trainer. Okay, let's check the game. Okay. The starting, the start training tool. We go to the dialog and in response script we use start training tool. So when if we say yes to the training tool, the this script, the start training tool script will run. And let's see. Okay. Uh, here is the trainer, trainer James. Uh, hello. Um, yeah, I forgot to to attach the dialog to the NPC. Okay. Now we go to. With here script manager. Here we can change the dialog. Change dialog to in a dialog trainer and to the NPC trainer. Okay, let's run. 
the screen again run has java application this run and start again create character create okay we wait a minute Okay, we walk to the trainer. Trainer White. Okay, are you ready to train? Yes, working. Okay. Yes. And he walked to the to the platform. Now, um, now it should be that I will create another dialogue. So if we click him again. He will uh, indicate us to go to this platform. So he will say, "Go to the opposing opposing platform or path." Okay, I'm going to create another dialog. This is dialog trainer and dialog trainer. Uh, Okay, but this dialogue will only have one one option. It would say go to the Opposing ladder to start training tool. The ladder cuesta para comenzar el duelo de entrenamiento. Okay, here we only have the option to say OK. Okay. Now, but when we give this dialog to the trainer in the script data, so first, um, he we give him a null dialog, so we don't we can talk. We cannot talk to him while he's walk, walking to the platform. Then we make him move to the platform, and after he moves, we are going to give him the the other dialogue. Like this, we are going to copy this. Okay. This 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 is this is script. Start game trick character. Create
uh, trainer Petrovic, okay, is Russian. Yeah, are you ready to train? No, okay. Are you ready to train? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the dialogue should disappear in this moment, okay. Go to the opposing platform to start the, the training duo, okay. Button no interact. Okay, so we are going to create a script that will detect when we are in the the coordinates of the opposing platform. Then the script will make the both both the player and the NPC to summon the robots. Okay, script. Start training tool. Maybe a start training tool is not okay. So. Begin training tool. So to prevent este, talking with the NPC while while este, doing it, we are going to give him a null dialog. Okay, this is a chain dialog because this is a dialog that like a tree that moves you to another dialog, no? Are chains. Okay. Then we are going to use another script is the dual script. A dual script take the can take the position of two pri two players. With the dual script, we will make both the player and the NPC is the dual with his robots. But we have to indicate in the script in which position the robots will appear. In this case, here for the player, here for the NPC. We are going to use this. So, new dual script, ballerina, ID player, and, and the ID of the NPC trainer. Okay, the robot one is for this parameter, robot pose two for the NPC trainer. Okay, the player is. 79, 167, 79, 167, always 199 minus the x axis, the y axis, 79, 163. Okay, so this should start the, the tool, but if we play this script, the duel will start immediately. We need a way to detect when the player is in position. 
so I'm going to use a new conditional script so the conditional script I create a conditional script to take parameters so first this is the map or area in which we should work this is the conditions and this is the script that will run if the conditions are met so all this goes here and the conditions the area mode oh, the first is the entity player and the sum and the data zone is the coordinates that will detect okay player is 79 170 so when an um, npc with the id player or the player character enters these coordinates this script we run and this script will run here Add next script new new ID script scripts data begin training tool. Okay, we are going to test this. Start game. Now we go to the to the trainer again. Now his name trainer Miller. Okay, are you ready to train? Yes. If we talk to him again, go to the opposing platform to start the training group. Okay, we go here and yeah, the robots is the the duel is start. So I can fight robot okay, this is a much stronger robot than mine I will let him destroy it now when the duel is finished I can no longer talk to him so we are going to make a script that will play when the duel is finished the trainer will go back to the to his previous position and I will restore the previous dialogue so we can do it with him indefinitely and with this we will finish today's session ok so start training tool begin training tool maybe maybe start training and finishing would be better And finish, finish training tool. We copy this, finish. We are going to, to 
to make him move to his previous pos previous position 77 and 159 We are going to give him a dialogue trainer. Uh, sit. So first he's going to move, then he's going to get his new dialogue. Okay. But when we will run this script, when the when the training duel when the, is over, so this is the duel script. So, but we are going to do two versions, one when the player wins, another when the trainer wins. So first, if team one or the player wins, we are going to call in my script. Finish training duel and another when the trainer wins. So victory and defeat. Okay. In victory. The trainer will say something like New talk screen script the NPC trainer say new string. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Then, yeah, uh, he will say it for four seconds. Then, the trainer will move, and after that, he will change his dialogue to the previous one. So victory then you are going to do one for defeat defeat and better luck next time kick improving 
suerte próxima continua mejorando ok this is just to make more obvious to the player if he win or lose the duel and we are going to test this script go to the trainer trainer Allen are you ready to go? yes we go to our position and ok I will try to win this duel but I don't think it's possible no I, I lost the duel uh, fair. better luck next time keep improving and if I talk to him again He's ready for another duel. Okay, now I will try to to win the duel. I will change my my robot parts. Um. Okay. I will buy este the weapon. I will sell some of these. Okay. A flamethrower. I will buy a flamethrower. This is a modifier, it's like a ship, ship that improves the weapon, so it transforms the flamethrower into a fireball thrower, adding 0.5 of damage and range obviously. Okay. Uh, because I don't want my robot to look plain white, I will change its color, uh, maybe dark, a secondary color yellow, okay. The same with the... with this part, and we are good. I will talk to him again, yes. The player move a little. Okay. Here is my robot. And it's much stronger. Okay, I win. And he said congratulations. And he goes back to position. Okay, this is all for today. This is the could be improved. Maybe we can have we can we can have este more trainers for different uh, skill levels. So when you progress in the game, you can train with different people. No, maybe three, one weaker than this, this one, and another one stronger. Okay, thanks for watching, and this is all.